Hello, this is iPhone Coding. We're going to do a continuation from last tutorial, which was an introduction uh, or beginner version to Hello World and iPhone programming. We went over a basic run through of the Xcode and Interface Builder environment, and today we're going to get a little deeper into it by actually writing Hello World to the screen in code. Uh, last time we just simply dragged the label onto the screen and hit build and run. So let's actually do something today and um, let's begin by writing hello world to the screen in code and first uh, I want you to just open your Xcode and go back to the last project that we did so we can be uh, reusable I guess <laughs> and uh, click on hello world and open it up and the first thing I want you to do is open up the interface builder because by clicking on the main window interface file and uh, the reason why we're going to do this is because the point of this tutorial is to teach you how to write hello world to the screen in code. And what we're going to do is uh, just delete the text so we can do that. And once you save this and you can quit it, we can go back to Xcode. Now, once we're in Xcode, I want you to go to our class files and I want you to select on the hello world app delegate.h, which is the file I currently have open. There's a few things we have to do. Let's think about it logically for a second. If we want to have our code write something to the screen, we need to realistically create a connection to our view. And our current view is mainwindow.xib, which is the only view that we have. It's our one instance of UI window. We don't actually have any views placed on top of it other than the label. And um, what we want to do is write to that label. So we need to create a connection to that label. If you notice here in the main interface file that the project starts you off with, you'll see that there's this property here that declares an IB outlet. What this is saying is it's saying, here's an interface builder outlet, which is basically uh, the same as a void type in the C language. And uh, it's basically just saying that this here, this object is just connecting or pointing to your interface file. And the interface file that it points to will be, um, well, you'll see how we'll make that connection in a second. So what we want to do is we want to create a connection for a label. Now, we know how to create the connection by declaring IB outlet. We just need to know what type of class the label comes from. A label comes from a class called UI label. And this is coming from the UI kit framework that we are importing above here in our top import line. Now. We want to declare a pointer to the label that we're going to be seeing on the screen. So we're going to use the asterisk, which declares the pointer. And now we're going to create the actual connection to the label on the screen. We're going to do that by declaring a property. We don't have to declare properties. We can use standard getter and setter methods, but um, I'm not going to use those in this tutorial. I'll use those in the next tutorial. For now, I just want you to follow along and I'll teach you about properties and synthesization later. So for now, write property non-atomic retain IB outlet UI label and that pointer that we created earlier save it and then go to the .m file don't worry about non-atomic and retain I'll also explain those in later tutorials go to the synthesize line and create a new synthesize for the label that we just made a pointer to and save it and then when the application launches we want to write our new code, we want to write our line of text to the screen, and our line of text is hello world. So we're going to go into this function called application did finish launching with, op with options. And basically, we can write any code in here, and when the application finishes doing all of its preparation and it launches, it'll write this code and whatever happens, happens. So for now, we want to write hello world to the screen. So we're going to tap into that label by writing label and we're going to tap into that labels text attribute by clicking dot text. Text is just a property of a label so we can tap into properties by using the dot notation and I'll get into that later as well. But for now write label dot text equals and we want to make an NS string a constant NS string. This is not a C string and we can tell the difference between of the at prefix. So we want to make this NS string and we want it to say hello world. Now, once we've done and terminated that line of code, 
the first thing we want to do is crack open interface builder and we want to create a connection from the UI label that we just created in code to the UI label that is sitting on the top of our UI window. And we want to do that by clicking on the hello world app delegate where we wrote our code and we want to right click on it and you'll notice that a panel opens. This panel is basically where you'll see different outlets or actions that uh, will connect to your objects or class files and uh, they will give you the opportunity to connect your interface to your code if you declare the appropriate outlets and actions for them. And um, there's different types of design patterns including target, action, but we'll get into those in later tutorials as well. So for now, just click on the label and drag to the label on the screen. Once we've created this connection, we can click Command S and save it and quit Interface Builder. Now go back to Xcode and hit Build and Run. Now, as you can see, Hello World has been written to the screen once our application has finished launching. But how do you know that this is actually true? How do you know I didn't lie to you? How do you know that this is actually writing to the screen when the application finishes launching? Well, if you want, we can write it, uh, an error log to the console, which will basically show us that we're in the function application did finish launching. So we can write nslog, which is basically a logger statement to the console saying, um, application did finish launching uh, with options smiley face just to show that it's true now once I stop and hit build and run again you should see the line of code uh, as the application launched you see the line of code uh, render in the function and it says application did finish launching with options so we know that the application works. We know that writing uh, the UI label worked. We know that creating the outlet uh, to interface builder worked. We know that the pointer to the label worked after we synthesized it. We know that the properties on the synthesizer worked. And uh, we know that uh, tapping into the text property can change the text value on any label now. So taking these things in mind, I want you to create your own application that will basically uh, write your own line of text to the screen. Um, and I want it to say um, anything pleasant that you did today. Just write that for yourself without looking at any help or um, anything. Just do it on your own. And uh, in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a button that's going to write the line of code for us. We're going to write hello world to the screen by clicking a button. And I'm also going to teach you about uh, views and how to create your own view uh, which will layer on top of UI window. And we're not going to use a view-based application template from iPhone. We're going to create it from scratch because uh, we want to learn how to build our iPhone applications properly. So I'll see you in that uh, uh, tutorial. Cheers.